Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Mario Kart Tour. Today we are taking a look at Daisy Hills in reverse, which I have. I used to love this track. I used to love this track, but after today, I hate it. Trying to get a non-stop combo on it is not difficult, but when you get blue shells, like there's so many blue shells that I got, and, and just horrible ones. Uh, but we're going to be taking it, I'll go through it. How to non-stop, of course. Uh, driver Kart Glider setup as well. So going in today, we have a bunch of high ends, some really good options. Or Peach and Daisy and Dixie Kong as well, uh, with Toadette. A little bit, a little bit sexist on the top line, only having women. Toadette is a great option. Currently at level 5 me, will be level 6 by the end of the week. Uh, Triple Mushrooms is a good special skill to have. You'll get that with Peach Wedding as well. You've got Double Bob Bombs, which doesn't compare. Your Mushroom Cannon, which past level 4, is going to be really good. Daisy Holiday Cheer is a great choice with Lucky 7. That's probably going to be the best choice. Uh, Bob and Cannon with Peach Explorer. Triple Bananas with Dixie Kong. Good option. Um, and Daisy Yukata Fire Flower, not as great. So it's definitely Lucky 7 is the best option alongside probably Triple Mushrooms. Um, Triple Mushroom Plus is, is, is going to be helpful as well. Then when it comes to car options, plenty of options here. We've got one, two, two commons. One that I've got, birth to girl, level 6. We should all have that fairly high, being that it's one that's in the store, I believe. Um, and then we've got a bunch of carts. So between those two, you've only got Slipstream versus Dash Panel, and I would go for Dash Panel Plus, being that there is one. You can get two, uh, two, three, four. Yeah, four dash panels, I think, on each run. Maybe five, actually. Uh, so dash panels are a great thing to go for. It depends which route you take, really. Um, but ideally, you want to be getting mini turbo on that. Bad Wagon is a great option with, with that as a special skill. You've got B -dash, Black B Dasher, Sports Coupe, Dash Panel, and Rocket Start Plus. Um, Slipstream Plus on the not Gilded Prancer, just the Prancer. Um, we've got Queen B, which is a good choice. That's a very early one that we had available. Blue Bad Wagon also has Mini Turbo Plus. And then we've got um, Jump Boost Plus, the only one so far. I believe Green Circuit does as well, yeah. Uh, Banana Master is a great choice as well. These are all, uh, newer carts though. Green Circuit was last tour, I think. Um, and so we've got two Jump Boost Plus there. Jump Boost Plus is going to be very good. There are a lot of Jump Boosts. I'd probably say it was comparative if not slightly better than mini turbo actually yeah thinking about it a lot of minute, a lot of jumps in this in this level so i would probably recommend going in with apple cart or green circuit if you've got it higher then when it comes to glider options plenty of options again these old tracks are starting to get a lot of a lot of gliders eight options now your purple oil paper umbrella with mushroom plus is going to be work, work better with your toadette and peach wedding so i'm going in with that i mean it's level four anyway uh got cloud glider with lightning plus this with super horn plus gonna work fairly well with lucky seven if you get that hit uh lightning plus no go green shell plus again lucky seven but not really great use strawberry donut another mushroom and red shell with chocolate donut so I would definitely favor purple oil paper umbrella if you've got it, or the Goomba Hanafuda, which we would have got if you've uh, if you've been on Gold Pass. Right, this this was the story of of my my life. <laughs> just, just playing this game, like you would get such good runs, and you know, look look at this, dodging two red shells somehow. And it's all going really good. We've got a nice line through here. Oh, it's looking perfect. Kitting the two coins, taking this line. Oh, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. And then blue shelled. Just before, just so close to the thing that I'm not going to get a jump boost off it. I'm not going to build enough speed to get a jump boost off it. And it didn't stop there. So this is a great run to show you, but a painful run. Like, like seriously painful. One of the more painful runs that you will see. Um, I believe we start. Rewind, rewind, rewind. So let's look at this. This is going to be a, and it might attempt a non-stop combo run. Not a solid attempt. We'll play this at half speed because it was a very, very good run as well. Um, only problem being the start, and I'll talk about that in a minute. So from the start, you want to start drifting to the right, building up your mini turbo. 
Oh, it's difficult. Get that jump boost. Make sure you get that jump boost in. Difficult again. Uh, then we release our mini turbo to get us to this. Now you want to take it at an angle here where you get two coins but get the two jump boosts. Or you can go through the middle where you'll get a jump boost in the middle fountain. Release your mini turbo here. Turn to the left a little bit and then come back in right. You want to go over two pipes to get your two jump boosts off that. Then aim down. As soon as possible, aim down. Hit the ground. Do not hit a dash panel first as you land. Then you'll catch those two dash panels, setting you up nicely for the coin and the Goomba. Then, as you're drifting to the right, release your mini turbo in time to get you to here. Start drifting to the right. Hold it and get to as close to there as you can. Then release it. Then once you've hit over the line, you want to get in another one. Release and then start turning to the left. Hold it on using your items to connect you from here to here to this first jump boost. That's probably going to be the part where you lose your combo most. Now release your mini turbo here. Set yourself up for getting that. And then quickly turn to the left. If you don't turn quick enough, you won't get those two coins. And then slide to the right whilst not letting go of your drift. Hold it. Release. And that'll get you nicely in time to get these three coins. Release to set you up for these two coins. Start turning to the right. And then hold. And then you're setting up for these two coins. Unless Beadsteeny is taking them. But we're going to get one of those coins back and a hit. So screw you. Finishing in first place, and then it's the same again. So, I'll show you what I mean in a minute about this jump. So, you've got to hit it at an angle where you catch one, two jump boosts um, rather than just the one. Releasing here, going left, swinging back in, taking these two jump boosts. Then you can go the other route, but I think there's more to take advantage of here with the coin and the Goomba and the dash panels and the glide time. Probably been slightly, probably about the same actually. But yeah, we've got the coin of you, unless you miss it like I did. Sets you up really nicely for landing here. Just release that mini turbo, start turning to the right, catch the dash panel, release, start turning to the left, release, in time for your items to come. Now, if you're in first place, you should get a coin there. Um, if you are not in first place, then make sure you quickly tap in to use your item because sometimes you can not use it in time. We pull on a nice coin frenzy to finish this off. Tried to get the double there. Uh, I don't know if that threw, I think that threw me off there. No, it didn't. Okay. So, quickly turn into the right. Releasing. We set up nicely for here. One, two, three. Very nice. Release. I think we need to get one here. Oh, we get the two. And here we go. Blue shell. Pretty much perfect run. And I was like, there's the coin in front of me. Just get it in time. Oh, my God. How close was that? And then Nicholas bloody pulls in. St. Nicholas. Screw you, Santa. <sighs> Comes in last minute and takes it. But I didn't give up there. I don't give up easily. And... We tried again, this time having a bit more success. So here you see that jump. So you see the double jump, shot on the second time around. Um, come around here, usual. And if you do miss the Goomba, just hold on to your left turn for an extra long, with extra time. So you won't lose your combo then. Taking awful lines through here, but that's better, better. Okay, so we've got the double jump. You see that? So we get the, the double jump. So we won two. I tried to slow that down for you. Sorry guys. Sorry guys. Sorry guys. So if you take it here, one, two. Whilst picking up some coins. And release going through there. Still maintaining combo. Two jump boosts, aim down, doosh, doosh, Goomba, left, jump, release, left, release, charging up, release, up to coin, hit the go, secure, oh, we just saved it, saved it, obviously use your item box, in time, which I just did to get my uh, coin frenzy, which gave me a non-stop combo and a high score, um, only in a hundred, 
But I was pretty happy with that. With a single coin frenzy run, you know we can get more. And I've still got my level 6 Toadette to come. And that is Daisy Hills in reverse. Hopefully that's been helpful for you guys and help you rack up a nice score for this week. That is all for this one. If you have enjoyed it, hit that like button. Always helps the channel out. Hit subscribe if you want to keep updated with future content. That's all from me. See you guys soon. Thank you.